On the road east from Misrata, there's a town called Tawerga where the clock has stopped. Shops trashed, homes abandoned, the chaos of interrupted lives, and clues also as to why these people fled. Libya is free, you slaves, says the graffiti. The people who lived here were ethnically African Libyan. Many supported Colonel Gaddafi, some fought in Gaddafi's army. And when the tide turned in the war, the rebel brigades of Misrata rolled over to Warga and its people ran away. There used to be some 20,000 people living in this town. There's nobody here now. We found one Tuerga man's Libyan passport and his military IDs. He was in Gaddafi's army. He could be dead now, or he could be one of the loyalists holding out in the Gaddafi towns of Sirte and Bani Walid. No one knows where all these people have gone. On the outskirts of Misrata, residents tell us how their neighbors in Tawarga turned violently against them on Gaddafi's orders. We told them that if they were victorious, they would be the new owners of Misrata. As Misrata resisted Gaddafi's control, he unleashed the men of Tawarga, heavily armed. They were told to march on the city, take what they wanted, kill who they wanted. And for a time, they did. <laughs> Idris Issa showed us where a Tawargan militia shot his unarmed cousin dead. A week later, a Tawargan mob came to his home and torched it. He and his family barely escaped alive. It's more than arson and looting. When it turns to kidnapping and killing, then it's hard to forgive. We never invaded them. Now it's going to be very difficult to forget, to coexist together. In a secret location in Tripoli, some of the missing people of Tawarga are hiding. Brigades from Misrata are still looking for pro-Gaddafi fighters among them. One woman tells us they took her children away, another how they beat her 14-year-old son. Families are separated, scattered, missing. You know him? I show them the identity papers of the soldier. They say they know his family, but not what happened to them. We are ordinary civilians. Qaddafi's army occupied our farms. Then the Masrata brigades went after us. We got hurt by both sides. Until there is rule of law and a judicial process to find the guilty, Misratans say these Tawargans cannot return home. Anita McDonald, Al Jazeera, Tawarga.